Hi, this is Lady C. Welcome to my studio. In the upcoming video, I'm going to be addressing a question from a viewer. And here's her question. Do you know how to mass save email contacts? My son's PTA sends mass emails with 72 CC contacts, and I'd love to save them to a contact list. Thank you for this video. So in this next lesson, I'm going to be talking about how to take those emails from the CC and export it into an Excel spreadsheet. But well, hold up. Before we get started, the least thing that you could do for me is subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Okay, so we're here in the email where we want to copy the email addresses that we would like to convert to an Excel CSV file. So we're going to just highlight the email addresses and right click and choose copy. Microsoft Excel is already running. I'm just going to go grab it from the taskbar at the bottom of my screen. I'm going to be in cell A1 and I'm going to choose control V to paste it. Once I do that, I'm going to hit the enter key on the keyboard. Next, I'm going to choose row one. Put your mouse pointer right there in front of the one. Get the black pointing arrow. Click one time. Now we're going to turn all of this range into a table. All you have to do is choose control T like table. Then you're going to notice how your data range for your table shows up. And this is exactly what we want. So choose OK. The next thing we're going to do is work with the Power Query. So we're going to go to Data on the menu bar at the top. Come down to the ribbon and choose From Table Range. And now the system is going to start working and bring up the Power Query Editor. Now we're going to continue giving the computer instructions on what it needs to do. And so what we want to do is we want to take this data in this one column, and we want to parse it based on everything after the comma. So it will take every email address, put it in its own column after each comma. So we're going to choose split column from the ribbon. Next, we're going to choose the first option, which is by delimiter. When the window opens, we are going to choose the drop down arrow next to custom and select comma. Everything that we want to do is already done in the window. Go ahead and choose OK. And the system will begin to parse out these email addresses into its own column based on the comma. OK. So now you're going to notice how all of the emails are in their own column. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is get all of these emails going across in these multiple columns and condense them into one column. So what we're going to do is we want to select all the columns in the window and just click on the first column heading to select the window, choose Control A, right click the mouse on any column heading and choose unpivot columns. You're going to notice that the system begins to work and it places all the emails in one single column. We're done with that part of the exercise. So we now want to return to Excel. So go and click on the first button on the far left, the top of the button, close and load. And then it brings us into our Excel spreadsheet. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete column one, point and click on the column heading A to select it. Right click and delete. The next thing we're going to do is get rid of sheet one because we're going to save this as a CSV file and it's only going to allow us to have one sheet. So go down, right click on sheet one and choose delete. When the confirmation window comes up, choose delete to confirm it. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to choose F12 on the keyboard 
And that is save as, because it's the quickest way to get me to my desktop. Okay, so now I'm going to type the name of the file, which is converted emails. I'm going to click on desktop. I'm going to change my save as type to CSV. And then I'm going to choose save. Okay, notice the yellow bar at the top showing that we may have some possible data loss because we're saving the file in a CSV comma delimited format. We're not going to even worry about that. And we're going to go ahead and close the file. Next, we're going to go back into Yahoo because what we have to do now is we want to go ahead and get ourselves ready so that we can begin to work with importing these emails into our contacts. So we're going to go back into Yahoo. This time, we're going to draw our attention to the top right-hand side of the screen, and we want the first icon in the bank of four, right? So the first one is contacts. So go ahead and choose contacts. The next thing that we want to do is we want to find out what type of fields we can import into our Yahoo contacts. And this is going to be very important because we're going to have to make sure that we import our email addresses in the correct field and the correct name. So there's a more button in the window. It's the three dots. Click on that. And we're going to choose export to CSV file. And then, of course, where you see contacts CSV, go ahead and open that file. And what you're going to notice is all of the fields that are available to input for the contacts for Yahoo. The one that we're interested in is email one, okay? Because that's going to be where we're going to use this field to import our emails that we've already converted. But first of all, we need to go open up the email to get the copy of the emails and place it in here. So let's go ahead on to our desktop. I'm going to hit the window E, take me to my desktop, go to my converted emails. It opens up the window. Now I'm going to just select A2 all the way down to A16. Right click, choose copy. I'm going to switch over to my contact CSV. I'm going to go to cell F2, right click, and choose paste. Actually, I'm just using the first paste option there. And then you're going to notice how all of these email addresses are going to appear in column F. Okay? And if I position my mouse pointer between column F and G and double click, it will resize that window so that you can see all of the email addresses in that column. And of course, let's just, let me just give you an example. Let's say the James Martin. So we know he has a first name, James, and then tab into um, column C and make it Martin. You know, all of these people don't have first and last names, but if, in case you know all the information that you want to use to fill out the rest of this data, which I'm sure you're not going to do that because there's a lot in here, but this is simply the format that you can use when you're working with Yahoo to get the information in the system. Okay. So anyway, we're going to just show how this works. I'm going to go ahead and just put Marcy as a first name there. Randy. You see what I'm doing here? Ingrid. So you're going to see how this, this is all going to be imported into Yahoo. So now we're going to go ahead and save this information. Mind you, it's still located in your download folder. 
So if you're worrying about losing this information, you're going to want to move this somewhere else. But don't even worry about it for this class because um, I'll let you do that on your own. This class is not really file management or anything like that. It's just showing you the processes right now. So I won't bore you with all those details. So we're going to go back into Yahoo. And what we're going to do is we're going to import the information into the contacts. So now all we have to do is come over here to the more button again, which is the three dots, and then choose import from CSV file. Click on that. Make our way to the downloads folder. Find the contacts CSV. Double click to open it. And now you're going to notice how it's going to start to import these items into the system. So you see how they're all in here? So now just take a look at the emails in the list, and you're going to notice that Ingrid's name appears above her email address, James Martin. His name came in. Notice how Marcy's name came in. So, and also Randy. So see how the names came in from those other areas when we were working in the Excel spreadsheet. So this is how you will convert those names to a CSV and then import them into Yahoo. All right now, I hope you enjoyed these tips and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Oh,